Welcome back to Pro Scrims. Complexity versus Curse and Complexity. They're making a late night comeback here as they've won the past two maps. But Curse, they've been one map away from closing out Complexity for a little bit now. We're going to see if they could do it on this one. It's going to be Search and Destroy on the Map Express. You know, these Search and Destroys the whole night have been pretty close. You know, we had yeah. a 6-4 and then a 6-5, I believe. Mm -hmm. And they really came down to just clutches by Complex. Yeah. So we're going to see if Complexity can play a little smarter and just work their man advantages a little better. And I think they'll probably win these Search and Destroys. But, you know, if Complex and BL Fire keep going huge, it's going to be it's it's going to be possible. Yeah, I think without a doubt, Complex, he's the guy to watch. But off the start, it's going to be Curse making a quick B push, it looks like. Somebody forgot Charges the bomb, so Complex, he's going to be the guy to rotate back. But first blood has been made as Twiz did take out Crimson, so early man advantage does go in favor of Curse. But you still got Clayster hanging out in the area. He's got a sniper just waiting for a pick. Oh, finds one player there, but misses a little bit left. And right now, it'll be interesting to see how Complexity rotates over. And, you know, Curse is playing this pretty smart. You know, they're not playing the bomb right away. They're forcing Complexity to kind of come in. And it's going to be Aix trying to make something happen. We'll get an angle on the bomb carrier if he keeps making his way down. Complex is going for a plant. Finds him, stops him just short. So 150 points for you, Aix, as you just killed the bomb planter. Blind fire will move over and pick up that bomb, maybe go for another plant. But you got TP also threatening from the opposite bridge stairs. Kreisar did get, did get shot from behind. Aix does get challenged here. Picks up the sun hit mark on Twist. He's going to go challenge this. Yeah, you know, that uh, that's unfortunate. You know, he probably didn't have enough time to get back down there and challenge Check him effectively. But, you know, that first pick right there by Aix to even it up was huge and let's see if that can actually come out and win them around. TP, I want to see you grenade the bomb site here, finding one on the opposite staircase, but now it's going to be Aix leading the way. Bomb does get planned by Bonfire, immediately picks up the kill. Aix with the two Ooh. beats, it's all up to Miracles here in a one on two situation. Finds the kill on the TP, so one on one. Miracles versus Aix, oh he's going to pull the Crips, Aix juke on him, finds Aix in the back, picks up the kill, Miracles clutches it for Curse. Huge play by Miracles, man, I mean, kind of like Krim against Baze at uh, packs, but you know, I would have liked to see better teamwork out of Teep and Aix right there to push that guy in two on one advantage, like we were saying. Aix just got bamboozled right there. Smart plays coming out of Miracles, and ready, when you're in that situation, your mind is just Search racing and, and having the right play in your head. Yeah, you know, that's just really quick decision making from Miracles, right? And you know, now. when yeah, it's amazing decision making from Miracles, and you know, from the other side of it, too, from complexity, it's three on two, you pick up two quick kills, and the game just moving a lot faster than it actually is. And you're just kind of pushing things that you probably shouldn't. You know, right there, it's a round that they're probably going to regret. Aggressive defense coming from Curse, and I love it. They pick up the first two kills, actually. Well, they get two kills. Now they have the mana advantage. But Blindfire did get taken out of his ears. He, a little aggressive over near the locker side of the map. Did pick up the first blood of the round, but was immediately taken out. And it's all up to Aix here for complexity. Does have Complex right Finish under him, but he's going to go for the pick on Twiz, remains. who's set up over near the bridge. Yeah, and you know, right there, I like the idea to not cheat. He, he kind of really didn't have a chance to kill him. You might have, like, one burst of him and gotten the kill, but most likely not. So you didn't give away your position. Now you're going to force Curse to either split up or they're just going to commit to this A-bomb spot. And the last time they saw Aix, he was to in top Step control. Up. I believe Twiz did get a line of sight on him. So Aix, immediately, he rotated all the way to the B-bomb site. Can't get the plan off if he decides to go for it, but Curse... They just want to stay together here. If Ace plants the bomb, great. You're going to work that 2 and one advantage and retake the bomb site. Right, and it looks like they're kind of spreading out a little bit, to be honest. Like, one player from Curse is actually, he's on the bomb, and then the other one is pretty far away, so. Go oh. right for the defuse. Yeah, right now, it's, you, you can definitely go right for the defuse. I would have one person defuse, and the other person just kind of watches back, but. Oh, he finds one, takes out Complex, goes for Twist, picks Huge up the kill. Play, Amazing yeah. play coming from Aix. And that's how you respond to Miracles, <laughs> that, baby. That's how you respond to Miracles. And it's almost the same situation that Complexity lost the round, like that we just saw. It's the same situation here, is where just miscommunication between teammates, mm -hmm. you know, with such amazing plays yeah, on Search and Destroy tonight, you'd, you'd probably like to see the teamwork a lot better. Search and you know, destroy. I think it was just. Uh, a bad position for complex to be yeah. in, where he was on the staircase. Clearly I mean, objective. if you're behind the, the trash, trash can, can, sure. But he was just wide out in the open, didn't have much cover to work with, and Aix, he punished him for that. But it's going to be Curse leading the way to the B bomb site. Miracles on top, two trophy systems coming from Blind Fire, as they do have initial position. I think he just spot that player down, though. We'll get first blood on the Crim 6. Yeah, you know, right there. I mean, but now you have Aix picking up two kills, so evening up, putting the man count in Complexity's favor, and you know, just a a lot faster rotation over to B by Complexity than there was the last time. He's going to destroy this trophy system, Hellstorm and with that, he earns the Hellstorm by. missile. So Aix, he's got some sorceries. Granted, you know, Express, 
not the best map for using these aerial streaks, and he does get taken out by Twiz. Now it's all up to Clayster and a one on two. Twiz does go for the bomb plant, so that's an easy kill for Clayster. But now he's in search of Complex. Finds him. He's going to challenge the train tracks here. Switches to the sniper rifle. Oh, Complex, he's still right there behind the main pillar. Finds him here. Going to line up the shot. What is Complex going to do? Almost up. He's got a sniper of his own. Oh, this is this is an epic sniper battle. You know, Clayster oh, winning that. Round, but, but you know, I really don't like yeah, how both teams are winning these rounds you know they're not they're getting Very man sloppy. advantages yeah it's super sloppy and then you're basically banking on one guy clutching it from both teams i mean miracles from curse and now clayster and aches from Switching complexity and i'd really like to see a, a, a solid win of a round from either team Search and but aches he's got a hell of some rest of the work with so that tells me Destroy i want to attack the a bomb slide a bit more here yeah you know he's got, they're going to attack the a bomb spot that's the one bomb placing we see them attack the most you know eight and two curse has to know he has streaks and we're gonna see them probably play a little more aggressive to be honest and in, you know last defensive round they were fairly aggressive over near the complexity hedges but this time around clacer does get first blood on the miracles but blind fire responds by taking out crimbot so even trade for both teams but i feel in this bomb scenario a three on three even trade off the start it's gonna favor the offense because they're spreading out the defense further on the map they got a couple more mission, spots that they have to watch with remains. less players. Yeah, I agree. But and now even then we're seeing a man advantage turn into a two-on-one disadvantage. Which to to win tournaments and to win events, you you need to win these rounds on search. When you have man advantage, you can't let it get down to now you're down in a man. All right. So Clayser now he's the last guy. 35 seconds left. Just picked up the bomb. He really wants to find a pick on the top of the bridge, but up. you're not going to find anybody there. You got Complex and Twiz. They want Clayster to plant this bomb. They're going to call his bluff, and Clay, he's going to roam around for the kill. And these guys from Curse, they're spraying quite far apart. Clay does find one inside the train tracks, but I believe he was spotted back. Twiz, he's going to try to get some positioning, and he does find him on top of the train. Clayster just got a glimpse of him over near the stairs. Yeah, and I I, I don't know if Clayster saw him over there on the stairs, and they're running out of time. And bomb. Kurt, Twiz picking up that nice kill. I, I think he was just really playing for kills that mm -hmm. run, you know. Yeah. Well, he was on a three kill spree all in all, so maybe trying to work towards some streaks? Yeah, possibly. And, you know, I mean, you're up uh, you were up one round, so to make it even, it's not too big of a disadvantage. Not the end of the world. No, I, I would rather play for my streaks than Search give away a round, so it's a pretty smart play. So now the question so. is, Protect when does Aix decide to use the Hellstrom? Is it more for defensive purposes? Because he can use it to retake the A-bomb site, which allows you to stack B and keep a B presence for a little longer in the round, or do you save it for offense? I would I would use the Hellstrom actually offensively on this map. You know, I like it more offensively than defensively. Oh! But it looks like we're going to see it defensively, and I don't think he's going to pick up anybody. But at least they know the positions now, I guess. Yeah, Aix finds one. He's going to challenge the second. The guy he hit with the Hellstrom, jumping around the corner, finds him inside the corner, but he's forced to back down and to reload. So, complexity, they know that all the members for Curse are around this area, near the lockers, near the hedges. Miracles finds one there. Clayser responds by taking out to his two on two now. Miracles is taking fire. He's going to work with Complex here. Trying to work the two on one on the TP. In the meantime, Clayser takes position it near the cursed base. So two on two, Teep knows the bomb is down. Yeah, and I'd, I'd like to see the Complexity players a little closer together right now. And you're seeing Clayser come over to help TP. And it'll be extremely interesting how Curse plays this. You know, they're, they're going to need the bomb and to get it down. And, you know, Complex, this sniper rifle up top can do some damage. This is a really weird scenario. It's like both teams kind of trade positions on the map. So yeah. Curse, they're at the Complexity base, and Complexity is at Curse's base. Miracle finds one, takes out TP, so that's going to make another 2 on one and here Good comes job, Complex squad. from the back. Ready for the next great round. teamwork coming out of Curse here in round number five, and they're going to take the lead. Yeah, it's just great teamwork right there from Curse. You know, they had Complex push up top train and run down into the mid tracks and you know once miracles got that intro kill on tp i mean it just made it a, an easy kill and easy round one from curse and keep in mind aix used this house from that round destroyed. right yeah so there's no more streaks right there from complexity so that's actually an even bigger round for curse. but objectives. since he used the hell storm you think curse also acquired. think that he's got a lightning strike uh, you know, that's an ex another possibility, too, because he is 10-4 and, and he has 1,300 points, so it's possible they think he has a lightning, and too. And look, they're, they're playing a lot more inside cover. Yeah, so, you know, they're giving up a ton of the map over here at B, too, so they might think he, they, he has a uh, lightning strike. Okay, so team with the bomb, he can go for the plan at any time. You see, Curse, they're going to attack from their side of the map, but now... See, he's just going to fake the plant. He'll go for it now. He's got some good cover fire from his teammates going. Aix is watching his bridge. Bomb Placer, he's got a sniper, and I want to take a look at him. 
So you know, if you're if you're cursed, Raven, how would you how would you push in and try and get back control of this B area? Um, I would attack two from both sides. You know, you go two from your side of the map over near the red hall and two from the blue ramp and just try to attack from both sides. I mean, you really got to try to work the buddy system and try to get that initial round. kill to really work your numbers. Yeah, I agree. And right there, we just saw a lot of just one-on-one -on -one flooding right there mm -hmm. from Curse. I believe that they sent one guy into the ticket booth and then a guy in both exits, which is the stairs from the bridge, and then you had one guy, another guy come Switching middle sides. late. So, you know... Probably could have done a little more organization with their push. Another back and forth search and destroy between these two teams, but as we enter round number seven, there's your scoreboard eight seed, 11 and four. Teat, he's struggling once again, bomb. but he still has 275 points, so it looks like another game where all he's getting is assists. Yeah, it's another unfortunate game for Teep, you know, and to be West Coast and play on, that, uh, on these connections is kind of difficult too. Mm -hmm. But now the numbers do go in favor of Curse at the start of this round. Blindfire covering his teammate complex, who looks like he doesn't want to get this bomb down, but no, he doesn't want to rush it into this round. You see, Aix, this is where he did damage from last time they were in this scenario, and he's going to find the, well, almost found the same kill, but Blindfire looks like he started to catch on to Aix's shenanigans here. Yeah, you know, smart plays from Curse to watch that, but you know, Krim tying it up in a 2 on 2 advantage, and right now, Complexity just needs to be smart and make a push together. And here we go, he's going to be working alongside TP, so they do find the. Kill on the Twiz. Now it's off the Miracles. Can't clutch the 1v2 this time for Curse, and they're going to give the Diffuse to Crim6 as he's a bit closer to some streaks than TP is. But we can take another look at the score where Teep, he got a kill, man. Yeah, he's Josh on the board. He's fine. But, you know, that was a, a lot Good smarter job. play Get right there from the Complexity round. than we saw the first round. And, like I said, that first round could probably come back to haunt them. You know, the round where Miracles clutched it. If they would have used better teamwork, they'd probably be up 5-2 to two right now. But instead, it's 4-3, and it's, it's still an extremely close game. So Teep in the round ending kill cam, and really that was that round was all Crimsix. Got three intro kills into the bomb site, allowed Teep to get that final kill, and now he's around one away from earning the RCXD card. But complexity, so. mainly they've been pushed in the A bomb the site. It looks like that's exactly where they want to keep going. But actually, another bomb, it's going to come right behind Clacer. He's going for the first pick. Oh man, Mericos, he could find two kills here. Yeah, you know, it's, it's they're going to push down the exit too, which, I mean, he might be able to pick up two kills if his positioning is right. And, you know, it's... He gets a trade right there, so it's not a, too bad. So he gets a three-on-three three advantage for his team. But it's going to be complex fighting his way through the tracks. He gets picked off, and once again, Cursor just kind of going in one by one. But Blindfire has a chance to make a play happen as he takes out Aix. That is going to drop the bomb, and he knows that the bomb is dropped because he saw Aix planning. So that's going to make it two on two. RCXD coming spotted. in for Crimsix. Will actually take out Blindfire right there despite him having flat jacket on. You know, he There's has killed one BL Fire. He's the least. RCXD master. And he always gets BL Fire. He got him at Tractor. He got him at L Wall. And then he got him here, you know. So it's just unfortunate for BL Fire. But you know, we're just seeing clutch plays out of Crim this map. We're not really seeing any clean, definitive wins from either teams. We're really just seeing a lot of individual plays being made. Complexity, they're about to make this comeback, man. They were down 4-1 to one in map count. They won the past two, and they're looking good to take this search and destroy as well. Krim, he might be a kill away from earning that health or missile as well. You know, it looks like Curse, they're going to be pushing B and Complexity. They get straight here on D. Yeah, and yeah, I was just going to say, they, they snuffed it out pretty much on D, but you know, two guys going down right away, and Krim gets his light, a Hellstorm, and you know, he's going to back off, and he's probably going to call us in. Yeah, you could boost it right through the windows, and you could take out these two curse members, but I think he just wants to save it just in case maybe he could have earned the lightning strike as well, but it looks like Twiz, he's getting a little adventurous over here. Yeah, and you know, uh, if you really think about it, if you were to check the points, Krim only has 1,100, so uh, Curse probably doesn't think he has a Hellstorm, so if if he doesn't get action over at B, you can probably see him call it in pretty soon over at A, and I mean, that could be deadly. Yeah, especially since Miracles, he's going for the plant right now, but as that bomb gets planted... Now it's Complexity's turn to try to turn up the aggression and retake the bomb site. Complex, he's hanging out near the Complexity base. You got Aix across the map from Crimson. So finding one top control puts in the initial shots. And, you know, solid shooting all night long from Crimson. But Twiz does take out Aix. Con it's going to be right, Twiz once again round, taking out Crimson. Yeah, you know, it's just big place the right there one. from Curse right at the end. And if I'm Complexity, I probably would have gotten closer together. And I probably would have tried to get an original pick to make it a two-on-two. And then really be more aggressive towards the bomb spot. Okay, so Curse, they win point. their fourth round, making it 5 to 4. Still in Searching favor of Complexity, of course, from Krim. He's got the Hellstorm missile, so he's the guy to watch off the start Destroy of this round. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see where they push. They're going to probably go to A, and it looks like Curse 
thinking they're going to go B, sending three guys there, and if you're going to see a quick rotation over to A. Yeah, that's usually the standard defensive play anyway. Send three down to the B-bomb site. You don't see a push. Send two back, but actually it looks like Miracles might go gear up for a bit of a flank here, but first blood does come in from Blindfire as he takes out Clayster. Yeah, you know, it's really what we're talk, talk about. These, these first bloods of each round have been huge, and... I mean, right now, you're, you're not going to win if you're going to have the first three guys go All down. First first guy in general go down to any, any search and destroy round. Dude, Miracles is such a sneaky beaver. He's always been behind the enemy lines here. Now, Krim6, he's the last dude alive for his team. One on three scenario, and here comes Miracles we from the back. Once round, again, we're going yet. to round 11. Step yeah, you know, just a great... Greatly played round from Curse. You know, Miracle's getting all the way around, and he's, you're right, he's always been sneaking around behind Bloxley the whole match. And also, BL Fire going huge, and Bottom Locker is picking up two kills. Now, round 11, uh, Krim does have a Hellstrom missile to use, but it's all going to be up to who's on offense. Because if you go B, okay, so Complexity, they're on offense. They could use the Hellstrom missile at A, but there's your scoreboard. The 10 objectives. and 10 for Blind Fire. He's leading the Charges way for Curse, acquired. but. 12 and 8 from Aix, 10 and 8 from Krim as well. Yeah, and I think right now, if you're complexity, you got to be He's extremely aggressive over at Aix. You need to push this right away. And, you know, it could be actually deadly that he calls in the Hellstorm right now because they could Hellstorm know he's going to be motionless and he's just going to call out the guys and right now. But even though he, complexity goes down to man. So Blindfire got first blood. TP gets the revenge kill. And once again, you see Mariko's trying to work up the middle chain tracks, but he gets picked off by Crimson. So just like that, the numbers go in favor of Complexity. But Complex, he's all alone at the A bomb site. Twiz has to rotate over and help him out. Yeah, Twiz is going to have to rotate over and help him out. And you know, he's going for a flank. Yeah, he's going to go for a flank, and that may that may take too much time off the clock right now. And put, well, they both have snipers, so this could actually be very interesting if they pinch from both sides. They both miss their initial shots. So Twiz, he's going to rotate back and. You know, that's going to take a couple seconds off the clock. Complex does find another player out towards the top control. And, you know, that's around the general area where you're going to find all three complexity members. But, you know, they got to start working soon, Mr. X. A lot of time has been wasted off the clock, and they really haven't made much progression up the map. No, they haven't really sh shown that they are they really have a plan right now. And, you know, you see, yeah, that pretty much showed right there that, that when the bomb went down and it was planted, they really didn't get together or have a plan or really didn't even see be communicating that well, you know, because you saw really just kind of thrown together a rush right here. It's just kind of solely dependent on somebody getting one of those intro kills. So Complexity have won three straight maps. They are going to force game nine here paid. tonight Time on to Pro Scrims. If there's somebody out there and they're not watching, they're missing out. Yeah, they're so. missing out because these have been great games yeah. tonight. And you see Aix and Crimsix on top for their team. But tweet the stream, guys. And also keep interacting with us on Twitter, hashtag MLG as well as hashtag Complexity or hashtag Curse. Who do you think is going to take this final map? Because it all comes down to this. Yeah, I mean, and I think we're going to have another CTF. So I believe it's going to be Slum CTF. And we've seen Complexity win 6-0 on Raid and 3-0 on Standoff. So, you know, Curse is really going to need to, like we said, Complexity needed to win a search. Complexity won a search. Now Curse needs to win a CTF to win this game. All right, the final map of tonight's Pro Scrim. It's about to happen. Slumps capture a flag. But before we do, we got to head to a quick commercial break. But stay tuned because it all ends here.